your hands. If I could give you one tip for your future, washing your hands would be it. The long-term benefits of hand soap have been proven by scientists. Whereas the rest of my advice has no basis than my own meandering experience, which I will give you now. Read the recipe all the way through before you start. Set your mise en place and taste as you go. Always use a sharp knife. Keep your heads up high and use your manners. Remember, salt enhances the flavor and tenderizes the product. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. Hi, Buena High School graduates of 2020. Um, you've all worked very hard to get where you're at today, so I wanted to stop in and say congratulations and good luck in your future. Congratulations, class of 2020. Yeah, congratulations. You guys are awesome. You so guys, proud of you. You guys have a wonderful life and enjoy your career ahead of you. Do it. Reach for the stars. Love you guys. All right, you made it. Good job. It's about time. Now get out there and make some money. Congratulations, Buena High School, class of 2020. Go Colts. We're all really proud of you. To our Buena High School, class of 2020, and especially our JROTC graduates, congratulations, and I'm super proud of you. Go Colts. Congratulations, Buena class of 2020. Through insurmountable odds, you guys did it. Congratulations to the class of 2020. You got this. Well, this is it, seniors. Not what we expected, but then life surprises us all the time. I will miss you. Well, most of you. And hope that everything in the future is COVID-19 free and a blessing in your lives. My thanks to so many of you, especially the members of Student Council and the Student Council Ambassadors who put on the best Arizona Association of Student Council State Convention 2020. Because of what's going on right now, I decided not to retire until next year. So the class of 2021 will hear the words every day that I'm going to share with you one last time. Have fun storming the castle. Thank you, the Bye. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm so proud of all of you. As you move on to the next chapter of your life, I encourage you to follow your heart, do what you love, and become the best version of yourself. The sky's the limit, and I can't wait to see all the amazing things you do. Way to go. Class of 2020, I'm so proud of you guys. And I know it's hard not being able to walk through graduation, but believe me, you have made it through. And your teachers, myself, we appreciate it, and great job. Once again, congratulations. Thank you. I wanted to say congratulations to the class of 2020. You guys have achieved awesomeness. I wanted to say bon voyage as you venture off after high school. May the wind always be at your back. Take care. Hi, seniors, class of 2020. Mrs. Brown here. I've taught many of you in world history and or economics, and I want to say to you, you've got this. You've got it. You can get through this. You can get through anything. I know this isn't what you planned, but you've got this. It will make you stronger at the end. I am so proud of so many of you. I've, got, I've had the pleasure of watching the last three years so many of you grow and mature and succeed, and I know you're going to go do great things. I'm so sorry I didn't get to say goodbye to many of you. You can drop me a line anytime. And I just want to say congratulations. Make the best of this. You've got this. You've got it. Bye, class of 2020. Congratulations. Hi, Mr. Green, and this is Mrs. Green. Slash Miss Moore from seventh grade. <laughs> Couldn't have expected a different uh, ending to this year but it is a great lesson in life that uh, change is constant and you never will know what's gonna happen. And there's tough times, but you can always find moments of joy somewhere. It's a nice day out. You've got an extra time with family. All right. well, congratulations, Boyna High School Class of 2020. Woo! Hello, Class of 2020. Happy graduation day. 
Well, this isn't the way that we dreamed of celebrating you. I do hope that it's memorable and special. You all have accomplished so much this year, and I'm so very proud of you. You've been brave, you've been gracious, and you've been dedicated. I can't wait to see what all your futures hold. I'll never forget the class of 2020. Congratulations. Hey, Buena class of 2020, it's Mr. Steiner here. Just wanted to say you guys have been through so much the last few months. This is just going to be a brief blip in time. You are going to go on to do absolutely amazing things. I can't wait to see how it turns out. Congratulations to you all and your achievement. Go Colts. Hey there, class of 2020. This is Mr. Harris from the counseling department and the girls tennis coach. Good luck to you all. I wish we'd been able to have a more normal end to the school year, but I know that you're going to do great things next year. Good luck. Hey seniors, congratulations. Uh, some of you I had as freshmen all the way to seniors, and I really miss you guys. And uh, I hope all of you the best. I know all of you are capable of greatness. And if you ever need anything, um, I'll be around. Know that you all always have a home here at Buena High School. Um, so the best of luck to you, and congratulations, class of 2020. Class of 2020, congratulations. You are my first class here at Buena High School. I got to see grow up and push through graduation. I am so very proud of you. For the ones who are a part of my classroom, I promise you, you are ready for college classes. To my own graduating daughter, Elena, and to her amazing friends and the entire class of 2020, congratulations. Go out and experience amazing things. The world is beautiful. The world is yours. You are the future. Congratulations. Come back and see us. Hello, children of my class and the other grads I know. First of all, congratulations. I know this is what we didn't want. Of course, I want to be sitting on the field for four hours watching you guys graduate, but I guess we'll do that another day. Um, ain't got much time here, so good luck with what you do. And for my kids, just think, you never thought you'd be as infamous as I is. Huh? good luck with whatever's out there. Congratulations, class of 2020. You made it. Soon you will be walking across the stage, maybe not the stage you imagined, but a stage nonetheless. You have much to be proud of, having completed an important chapter of your life. The road ahead is full of opportunity, and the choices you make will impact the rest of your lives. Be fearless. Graduating Gerald TC Cadets, I thank you for the opportunity to play a small role in your lives during the past four years. I look forward to hearing of all the great accomplishments that lie ahead. Best of luck and always remember that you will always be a part of the Buena Gero TC family. Again, congratulations and best of luck, class of 2020. Way to go, class of 2020. Congratulations. To the class of 2020, I want to offer you my congratulations. Finally, it's here. To those of you whom I was fortunate enough to spend the year with, I want to wish you the best of everything, always. You guys are the best. Hello, Buena High School class of 2020. Miss Henry here saying congratulations to you. Proud of you for reaching this milestone and impressed that you did so during uh, the most unusual time most of us have lived through. Wish you all the best bright futures ahead of you, go get it. Hello class of 2020, congratulations, we're so proud of you. It's been a tricky semester, but you have come through strong. And remember how we started each day with, make it a great day because the choice is yours. We wish you the very best, and we know that you will continue giving back to your community as you've done so far. So best wishes to all of you. Class of 2020, I just want to tell you congratulations. You've done a great job. Thanks for hanging strong in a difficult time. We're all here for you and we can't wait to see you on the 14th and the 15th. Go Colts. Hey class of 2020, Miss Osterman here. I just wanted to give you a graduation shout out during these tumultuous times. Green Bay Packer coach Vince Lombardi once said, the quality of a person's life is in direct proportion to their commitment to excellence, regardless of their chosen field of endeavor. 
I am challenging each and every one of you to commit to excellence starting right now, moving forward into the next chapter of your life. I challenge you to set high goals for yourself, to be consistent and fair, even when it's not easy. I challenge you to be accountable for yourself and to serve others with kindness and humility. I challenge you to always be the best that you can be and to coach others to help them be their best too. I know that the class of 2020 is filled with excellence. It has been a pleasure to know you, to teach you, and to watch you grow. I am so incredibly proud of you and excited to see the change that you will make in this world. Congratulations, 2020. Now go be excellent. Hey, class of 2020. I am so proud of all of you. This is such a crazy time and I envy your strength and courage through this process. This will truly be a year you'll never forget. I have enjoyed watching you all grow from the time I taught you sophomore year. I will definitely miss all of your smiling faces in the hallway. You all were the first class I ever taught and I'll never forget you. Congratulations. Hello seniors. This is Chief Leon Buena Gero TC. I wish you the best in the years to come. Go coach. Hey guys, this is Mr. Lynch. Uh, I've been asked to say something meaningful to you about this situation and the only thing I could really think of is the fact that at birth the doctor rips us out of our mother's womb, turns us upside down and spanks us, which causes us to go and take our first deep breath and onward with life we go. Well guess what, the coronavirus has just spanked you again and it's now causing you to go oh, I better do something with my life congratulations class of 2020 you did it well I know that this isn't the way you plan for your senior year to end remember that this is only one step in your journey there are so many more things out there for you to see accomplish and do continue to take the memories with you from your four years hold those memories close and strive for the future go with your whole heart and continue to be successful I wish you the best of luck go Colts Hello class of 2020, it's the Sidors. This is what we look like when we're together. Uh, I just wanna say how proud I am of all of you, especially those of you that I taught since you were freshmen. Hopefully you can remember some of the things that I taught and uh, I wish you all the best in your futures. We're so proud of you. We are cheering you on. We're cheering you on for your future. We look forward to you returning someday and letting us know how well you've done. Take care, congratulations. Hey, class of 2020 from the Foreign Language Department of Buena High School, congratulations. Great job in your four years. We wish you the best of luck in your future and all that you do and what you choose to do. I'd like to thank my aides this year for helping me out and everything and to just being great people coming into class every day. McKenna Heck, Van Lee, Jojo Featherston, who at times thought that I was like his adopted dad. Not really, but just great people. Lauren Lane, Veronica Kyles, Dylan Bailey, Bridget Ledger, Lily Roll, Theo Hill, you guys are great. And I'm glad I had the opportunity to have you in class and to know you as, as an aide. And I'd also like to congratulate and wish the best of luck to my four softball seniors who I had the privilege and honor to be able to work with them for a short time. Lauren Brown, Aspen Paget, Katie Nutzel, Kenzie Shaw, but more importantly, I had the opportunity to be their Spanish two teacher. I wish you for the best of luck and take care everybody. Be safe, be healthy and enjoy life. Hey class of 2020, I just want to say congratulations to you. I hope that you have a wonderful life full of happiness, success, and health. Congratulations on your accomplishments and we as a community and the district are rooting for your success and happiness and we are sorry that you missed out on your graduation but we are very, very proud of you. Congratulations class of 2020. 
you've reached an important milestone in your life, in spite of some really big challenges. Now it is time for you to go out and make a difference in the world. I can't wait to see what you're gonna do. Dream big 2020. Hi, class of 2020. These are very hard times and you guys all did it. I couldn't be more proud of you. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it, hooray. I know we're in uncertain times right now and this is not what you all expected and worked hard your 12 years for, but um, just kind of a little bit of preparation of what life's all about. Uh, you gotta kind of roll with the punches. So uh, enjoy and good luck on your future and the roads that you all will go down. Um, you deserve the best. And don't forget us here, Poina. Come back and visit. And again, congratulations and enjoy. Hey, 2020. Mr. Kimbley here with a recipe for life. You know it's not theoretical, it's an actual recipe that you can use for the rest of your life. No matter where you are, you don't even need to be in a kitchen. You don't need any culinary skill. All you need are three things. An electrical outlet, a can opener, and a crock pot. So what goes into this magical, I don't need to know anything recipe? Let's take a look. First, you have rice. Remember, this is gonna double in size and soak up a lot of moisture. So take that into account. You don't need a whole lot of it. To that, we're gonna add some beans. It doesn't wanna matter what beans you add. What's important is that when we put these two together, you have a complete protein. So you don't have to go buy chicken or steak, something that goes bad and something that's expensive. You have your protein right here. To that, we're gonna add some fire roasted tomato. Fire roasted tomato is gonna to add moisture, add a lot of flavor, and give you a different texture because of the breakdown of the tomato. If you don't like tomatoes, you can use a tomato sauce too. To this, we're gonna add some vegetables. I got green beans, corn, and peas here. Usually I leave the green beans out and add carrots, I don't have them. So I'm just gonna use what I have. And finally, we need to add moisture. Use a chicken broth, chicken stock. Uh, it can be vegetable too. Uh, just add flavor at the same time that you're adding moisture, but if you have to, you can just add water too. So make sure that you're filling that up, at giving it plenty of opportunity for the rice to soak up a lot of moisture and still leave some in there for you. That's it. That's all I got for you. Because I figure everybody else is giving you all these rules for life that you need to follow from now into eternity. I just want to be able to get you there. So here's a recipe so that you can survive and use all that wisdom. Know that I'm proud of you, that you've done things that other people in your life haven't been able to do. Pat yourselves on the back. And as my gift to the class of 2020, I'm going to give you this. It's a horrible rendition, a culinary based rendition of Cardi B. So I want you to be well. I want you to take care of yourself because you are with you for the rest of your life and be proud of the things that you do. Oh, crew! Hey, class of 2020. You've dreamt, you've strived, and you are finally there. Congratulations. We love you and we miss you. Congrats, class of 2020. Congratulations, Buena class of 2020. You did it. Hi, class of 2020. I would like to congratulate you. You did it with your hard work, dedication, and motivation. And I wish you good luck on your future education. And God bless you all. Congratulations, Buena High School Class of 2020. Man, you guys will always be remembered. Um, you guys are a good group. We wish you luck, the best of luck in life. Um, whatever you do after high school, we're proud of you guys. You guys are goal getters. You guys are resilient. Um, and through it all, you guys are going to be successful in life. Uh, we are very proud of you guys, your hard work, your dedication and commitment. And we are excited to be able to celebrate with you guys on the 14th and 15th. Congratulations. Go Colts. Hello, Buena Choir Seniors. It's Mrs. Brown. And although we ended this year in monumental fashion, what hasn't changed is my hope for you that you will take your song, your choir, in your heart with you wherever you may go. And please know that you will always be in my heart. Until we sing again, until I see you smile, until you're next to me and I hear your voice with mine, all you have given me and all we have shared as friends will stay within my heart until we sing again.
me, to love me, to love me. This is the night when these words say. This is the murmur of the land This is the sound of love's marching band And how they hold you like a gun And how I sing you like a song I heard I was young and buried for a night like this Buried for a night like this Thank you.
What's up, BHS class of 2020? My name is Landon Donovan. If you do not know who I am, you can Google me. Uh, I used to play for the US men's national team in the World Cup and the Olympics and also for the LA Galaxy for a long time as a professional soccer player. Uh, I know these are difficult times. Uh, just a few words of encouragement and advice. As someone who's lived about twice as long as you, I promise you this is not normal. We will get back to normal and life will be good again. The second thing is there's only so much we can control in life. So as much is going on right now that you can't control, let it go. Um, life will come back to normal. Control yourself, your attitude, how you react, and life will be fun again, I promise. Congrats to all of you. Great job, and I hope to meet you soon. Bye. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hey, it's Brandy Malloy and I graduated Buena in 2001 and currently I live in Los Angeles, California and work as a TV host, a food and lifestyle expert. Maybe you guys have seen me on the Food Network or Today Show, but right now I am just so excited and honored to wish every single one of you a huge congratulations on your accomplishment of graduating. Oh, what a great feeling. I mean, you should really just savor this moment, all of the hard work and sacrifice and commitment that you guys have made to getting to this point right here. Really treasure it and savor it. You know, what's exciting about today is that tomorrow there are so many possibilities. You know, this is really when the exciting stuff starts to happen. This is when the good stuff and the fun stuff can begin because now you can pursue all of those dreams that you have had, all of the goals that you've set for yourself. You know, one of the best things about living in the United States of America is that you can be whoever you dream. No goal is too big. I mean, really the sky is the limit. You can become whoever you want to become. You can do whatever you want to do. You can go wherever you want to go. Um, I am just so proud to be from Sierra Vista, Arizona and to be a graduate of Buena High School. And I know you guys are just feeling the pride right now. Man, I mean, there are so many opportunities out there for all of you waiting for you, whether you go off to college or you start your first job. I think for many of you, you are going to be looking back at this moment and just feeling that pride and that sense of accomplishment. Uh, if I could offer any bit of advice, it's to really soak up every moment, you know, try to be present and every single day. Uh, if you're like me, you're always thinking about, okay, what's ahead, what's to come, what do I wanna do? When you're in college, you're thinking, oh, what's my next job, what's my next move, what can I do better, how can I be greater? Uh, and it's important to really just focus on the here and now and being present because there is so much abundance around us. There is so much gratitude and so much to be grateful for right here and right now. So congratulations, class of 2020. You did it and I am so proud. Mwah! Woohoo! Class of 2020, congratulations. I'm Titus Macon. I'm a musician and actor out here in Los Angeles, California. All right, sorry, that was bad. I'm gonna get past this. See, I think that you Okay. I wanted to quit. <laughs> But I'm also a graduate of Buena High School class of 2007. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to have a video sent to you guys just encouraging you. Um, and I know things look weird right now and, and, you know, it's a little scary, but don't let it discourage you. Keep pressing on towards your goals. Nothing's going to stand in your way. I was able to. And um, it's been a wild, crazy, blessed ride, but I'm happy that I, I gave it my all and I'm still out here trying to, to press forward. So I'm excited to see what you guys are going to do. Keep pressing on. Don't let things hold you back. And big shout out to Mrs. Jill Brown. She's known me since I was young. She's always been there encouraging me in, in life and career. So thank you for contacting me. But more so, love you guys. Hope you're happy, healthy, hopeful. God bless. Congratulations. Congratulations, Buena High School seniors, class of 2020. My name's Luis Robles, and I graduated in 02. And I know as you look at your graduation, there's no way that you could have envisioned this when you first stepped on campus four years ago. And yet with this current crisis, I hope you guys can see the opportunities, the opportunities to grow and become better individuals, better leaders. And with the courage to step forward, you can have a positive impact on your local community and really lead your generation to make this nation better. 
So whether it's in your individual pursuits, whether it's furthering your academics or pursuing a job right away, I wish you all the very best. And please don't waste this. Know that together we can make a difference and that we're all connected as we move forward. All the best. Hey, what's up to all my students at Buena High School? Congratulations to you. You did it. You about to graduate, class of 2020. How proud of you I am. You fought through the adversity. You had some good times, but you also had some challenging times. And look at what you all did. You hung in there. You went all in. You made the adjustments, the sacrifices, and now you about to go to that next level. So hats off to you. Now I want to give you a word of caution. I know this feels good. Embrace this moment. Lock in with this moment. Never let this moment go. But I want to tell you some of my young friends. The world has so much more in store for you. So what I need you all to do now is to be locked in and focused on what your next level looks like. Here's the reality about the world we live in today. Adversity, hard times, challenges, we all deal with it. But what makes us powerful is how we respond to it. And so yes, you graduated from high school. Congratulations to you. You took the test, you took the quizzes, you went through all the obstacles, all the assignments, all the projects. Now you're going to that next level. What I need you to do is be the absolute best you can be at that next level. So what does that look like? For those of you going right in the workforce, I want you to be the absolute best that you can be in the workforce. Whatever company that is you're working for, ask yourself, how can I make more? How can I move up into management? How can I one day own my own company? For those of you that's going into the military, into the armed services to protect our country, you ask yourself, how can I be the absolute best and how can I move up the ranks? For those of you that's going to school, whether it's a trade school or a university or a local college, you ask yourself, how can I get the best grades? How can I excel in life? Why? Because this world needs that greatness that's inside you. This world is expecting you to go to that next level because we will be the benefactors of how amazing and how powerful you are. So do me a favor, my students. I need you to have this mindset right here. I was born to be a leader. I was born to win. I'll live in my purpose until the end. You tell yourself, if you question my greatness and don't believe, I'll prove you wrong and soon you'll see. You remind yourself, you are great, you are smart, you won't quit, you won't bend, and you show hope and love until the very end. We need you to lead with honesty, respect, hope and love, and we expect you to lead this world to rise above. And when times get hard, you tell yourself, I won't give up. And with life I'll wrestle, for I am a hard hardworking and resilient vessel. Why? Because you're cool, you're smart, you're kind, you're special. So remain grateful, but never settle. Congratulations, class of 2020. Let's get it. Good evening students, parents, family, friends, Superintendent Kelly Glass, Governing Board members Mrs. Williams, Mrs. Johnson, Mrs. Boutte, Mrs. Mims, and Mrs. Sheriff, and our amazing Buena staff. My name is McKenna Heck and I am the student body president for Buena High School. I would like to welcome you all to the ceremonies for the graduating class of 2020. We will now observe the national anthem and the Pledge of Allegiance. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please join us in the singing of the National Anthem by senior members of our choir and the Pledge of Allegiance. Please join me in the pledge at this time. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Please be seated. Can I get a heck yeah? That's how I thought I would start this speech at the beginning of the year, and y'all would say, heck yeah, back just like the first day of freshman year when I addressed the same group as class president. Cheesy, I know, just like every time anybody have ever said, what the heck, really original. This graduation may not be ideal or traditional, but it's going to be part of the history books. Something our grandkids will learn about in school. How crazy is that? What other class, past or present, will get to say that in 2020, they had a virtual graduation and lived through a pandemic? Sounds very futuristic, just how the movies portrayed 2020. What other class will have the opportunity for their families and friends to walk with them or drive with them in this case? Just us, which is why we have to flip our lens and look at this as an incredible opportunity. Moments of change can all be wonderful opportunities if we're looking at it through the right lens. As Ms. Carlson reminded us every morning, make it a great day or not, the choice is ours. These last couple of months have been anything but ordinary, but I wanna thank the senior planning team and the administration for putting on the best graduation that they could for us. When I think about the things I'm grateful for, I count my family and our little zoo, but especially my parents, twice. During this time of uncertainty, it's been easy for us all to feel defeated, unmotivated, and stuck. It may feel as though our world has ended, but it's just been put on pause. Fall is coming. My parents have been so lovingly reminded me of this and encouraged me to not lose sight of all the exciting things in my future at ASU. They have reminded me that it's okay if my productivity looks a little different during these times because these times are different. They have made me feel celebrated and oh so loved during this grad season, and I hope you have felt that same love from your friends, family, and loved ones. For some of us, this pandemic may have been a devastating end to our senior year, and others do not have to endure any more torture. Yet everyone says we're in the same boat, but it's not like that. We are all in the same storm, but not the same boat. This storm has shipwrecked some of our boats and others have floated peacefully. We have all tried to navigate this storm, finding ways to occupy our time maybe learning new things or doing the things you love but never had time for. But at some point, I think all of our boats may have stopped on TikTok Island. So I figured I'd share what I learned. And it went like... Whether you're dealing with heartbreak, anxiety, or depression like myself, it will take time, but you will survive. Find the beauty in every breakdown, feeling what you need to feel, and then letting it go. I hope you believe in new beginnings despite what you've been through. You are bigger than what is making you anxious. You have changed so many lives with your kindness and your smile. You are your home. Take care of yourself. Just a bunch of random TikTok life hacks. I hope you find your renegade spirit and use it to navigate the world that is ours to lead. After all, he who wants the world to remain as it is does not want the world to remain at all. May you tackle every obstacle with strength and drive so that nothing is too hard to overcome. You do not have to be extreme but consistent in your motives and goals. You give life to what you give energy to. What an EDM shuffle should look like. Still working on that one. Cherish the sweet friendships and connections, both temporary and consistent. Don't worry about
about it, sweetheart. It's just that. Don't, Don't worry about it. There is peace in mind in your own. Sunday's newspaper said the sun came up today and life is beautiful. Feel lucky to be you and lucky to be alive. Bask in moments when you realize the simple things are wonderful and enough. And Carol definitely fed her husband to the tigers. TikTok may have distracted me from my attempts to be productive, and it still hasn't taught me how to dance, clearly, but it has made me feel connected. And I don't know if that's the AASC girl in me or what, but I thrive on connection. It's just as essential as water. Connection is what inspires me to do more and be more, so if I could give you a gift, it would be the gift of connection. Connecting with people who feel like sunshine and make you happy to be alive. Like my incredible parents who cannot be shown enough love to thank them for every good thing I am because of them and every selfless sacrifice they've made for our family. Connecting to moments you never want to end and good music. Like a good punk rock concert that makes you feel alive and sweet friends that have good taste in everything. Connecting to your community, peers, and those who need you that you never knew you needed as well. Like the guy with a sign reminding you life is good even in his uncertainty. And the animals in your home and shelters who want to receive and give nothing but love. Connections that help you adapt, evolve, and grow into everything you are meant to be. As we navigate this storm in a new normal, growing into our next season of life, may we cherish all that was great and all that was not so good of this last one. Remember the teachers like Papa Nitschke, who always made you laugh, asked about your rough weekend, and made a home out of 1312. Teachers like Senor Tomoka, who always knew what to say, inspired you to be a better person, and never let you go hungry. Remember the excitement in the student section on a Friday night and the quiet bus ride home, home after a tough game with your teammates. The friends you spend every day with that you no longer know what they are up to and the friends who have been with you through everything. The days you felt like you could run a marathon and the days you couldn't get out of bed. The long nights and early mornings. The nights you came home too late and the moments that made you feel on top of the world. Remember the inside jokes from math class, your favorite teachers and staff, club meetings with your people, being late because you were talking to your favorite janitor or security guard, and all the familiar faces you passed in the halls. As we reminisce about these last four years as teenagers and prepare for our next season as adults, I want to assure you it's okay to not have a plan, to not know where you want to be in five years or let alone the next month. However, I urge you to have a purpose. We've been taught that getting a degree matters, money matters, where you live matters. While these things bear some importance, they don't really matter. What we have in our hearts and minds matters. Who's in our life and how we treat them and how they treat us matters. How we live in this world and how we make it a better place matters. The world has slowed so we can rediscover ourselves and our purpose. My purpose is to root everything I do in kindness, love, and joy. To approach every situation and everyone with overwhelming kindness. To simply and loudly love and make my love a place to stand. When I got my first phone, I learned how to do text signatures, and for all of middle school, every text I sent was signed with, don't drink the haterade. A little embarrassing when I look back now, but even 11-year-old me knew the power of kindness. I was already living in my purpose, and I didn't know it yet. Now my emails are signed, stay awesome. Maybe a little unprofessional, but everybody needs to be reminded once in a while just how awesome they are. We see what we spend the most time looking for, so if we are searching for joy and hope, those things will find us. When joy is a habit, love is a reflex. Whatever your purpose may be, I hope you live it loudly. Jump out of your shoes for the things and people you believe in. This storm, like others, will soon pass, and you will learn to navigate a new boat in a new storm. No doubt you will experience adversity, but hold on to the childlike faith that keeps us fearless. Hold on to connections and laughs that make you cry. Hold on to that I don't know yet spirit. Hold on to songs and people who make you feel golden. Hold on to all the little things that make your whole body smile. Hold on to your purpose. After all, those who are rowing the boat can't rock it. Congratulations, class of 2020. <laughs> Madam President, signing out. Please welcome our valedictorian, Karsten Huber. Hey, 2020, I'm Karsten. If you don't know me, I'm that moppy looking guy you saw get absolutely destroyed playing some one-on-one -on -one basketball during a pep rally our sophomore year. First, I wanna thank you for coming. I mean, logging on to this very unique graduation ceremony. I know that this isn't ideal and we'd all rather be watching Tiger King right now. And I also know that in times like these, it's very easy to focus, at, focus on the darkness that the world is experiencing. However, I think it's fair to say that we all hope the rest of the year will draw inspiration from our junior year homecoming and be filled with nothing but light. It's during times like these where you can truly see how much you've taken for granted. For me personally, I realize how much I truly appreciate the hot and spicy McChickens that I'd get with my greasy boys or sleeping through my classes. I mean, don't get me wrong, the 12 hours of sleep I get these days is nice, but nothing compares to getting woken up from a 45 minute nap by Mr. Nitschke blasting some bangers through his classroom speakers. 
Despite all the negative vibes floating around these days, I hope all of you can look back at your years here at Buena and find something that brings a smile to your face. But if the Rona got you feeling too down to do even that, I'll refresh your memory a bit. Do you remember our freshman year when our football team didn't win a single game? Well, by the time 2020 had taken over, we went 9-3. and three. Or for my band kids out there, you gotta remember that time when our favorite principal, Ms. Don Maddock, played her world-renowned triangle solo at our concert. And I know everyone here remembers when the absolute icon Ali Tomonique performed at lunch. I mean, that alone should secure a high school experience in the Hall of Fame. But what I'm trying to get at is that even though everyone here has talked bad about Buena, myself included, this school has quite honestly provided us the tools for everyone to have an amazing high school experience. Just take, for example, our amazing teachers, like Mrs. Osterman. She somehow made learning about the Great Depression fun, and she only kicks me out of class like six times. But if the teachers aren't enough proof, take the amazing students that have been your classmates for the past years. People like Luke Thrasher, the nicest human that's ever lived, or Christian Dickinson, the smartest person that Buena has ever produced. They are great examples of the wonderful people that we spent our four years with. And I know I speak for the entire class when I say that every single one of us has met someone here that will forever have an impact on our lives. Whether that's your best friend, your significant other, or maybe just that one person that made that one class just a bit more bearable. The memories that we've made here will stay with us our whole life, even if the people we make them with don't. It's these connections that make graduation bittersweet. If we're being honest, we've all been dying to get out of here since freshman year. I've had a countdown until graduation going on my phone for much longer than I care to admit. But now, especially with COVID-19 giving us a sneak peek at life without Buena, I can see that I was a little too overzealous to leave this place. I mean, when you reach the real world, I just don't feel like anything will match the thrill of hearing someone shout, Ayo, there's a fight in the 1300 hall! But, in all seriousness, it's little things that we're going to miss the most. Like hearing Miss Marcella shout good morning to us as we go to class, or watching the band storm the halls on Fridays. Just because we're going in the real world doesn't mean that we'll stop experiencing these little things. We'll just have to find them in new places. And when you see Bernie Palaha selling houses on HGTV or Isaac Ruiz on the PGA Tour, I hope you remember those good times we had in high school and all those little things you got to experience. From here, we'll all move on to bigger and better things, even the ones that peaked in high school their sophomore year, like me. We'll get jobs, go to college, and start families all while using the skills we learned here, even though most of them revolved around doing essays the hour they were due. This is just the beginning. We all have a bright future in front of us, and I'm proud to say that we've all secured the bag and survived our four years here at Buena High. Ladies and gentlemen, we made it. Congratulations. Our next speaker this evening is salutatorian Amelia Hickey. Ladies and gentlemen, your salutatorian. Hello, class of 2020. Before I begin, I'd like to quickly note that even though Kirsten's technically got a higher GPA than I do, he's much less of a stereotypical nerd than I am. Of the two of us, he's the cool, funny, media-savvy one, so forgive me if none of you end up relating to any of the anecdotes I came up with. I thought they were pretty funny. Anyway, I suppose I have to start by congratulating you all for all the hard work, tearful nights, stress eating, and procrastination-induced panicking you've put into the last four years. I trust you're all nodding in agreement right now. But regardless of whether or not you're good at handling stress, the years you've spent preparing for this moment have been unequivocally challenging. Elementary school began a series of standardized tests that have likely been haunting you for most of your lives. Middle school was middle school. Ameliorated for many of us by Miss Floss, but I'm still glad to be done with that part of my life. In high school, the relatively novel experience of being in a flipped classroom became the norm, completely changing the way we'd been learning our entire lives. And thanks to coronavirus, we very recently had to adjust to even more online assignments than before. Maybe most of you had an easier time doing things online than I did. And if so, here's something I believe with some degree of certainty was a shared experience for all of us. The infinite pile of homework we had to do every night. In short, school is hard. But each and every one of you has bravely faced all the challenges that have been thrown your way. From the normal day-to-day -day struggles of high school life to the less normal challenges of life in 2020. Coronavirus has hit the world hard. And because we live in a retirement community, we have a special responsibility to our elderly and immune-compromised neighbors. A responsibility Ms. Hodges reminded us of constantly while she was still here, which most of us never thought we'd have to take seriously. Don't take away from the population. Ensuring that we avoid taking away from the population has meant sacrificing a lot of things that really matter to us. To cite an example I'm familiar with, the Buena Choirs had been planning this huge Ireland trip all year long before it was cancelled only days before the departure date. Each student raised about $3,000 with the help of Miss Brown, who spent a significant amount of her own money to make sure the trip could happen for everybody, 
and my family friend Dave Dickerson, who told me he'd make up whatever money the choir kids couldn't come up with on their own. The cancellation was a huge blow to everyone involved. Suddenly, the trip wasn't happening, the money was non-refundable, and the many hours we'd spent rehearsing from the beginning of the school year went to waste. Ours wasn't the only cancellation, and even those of us who weren't anticipating some exciting trip have had their own prices to pay in exchange for the safety and well-being of others. To those of us who didn't have jobs yet and also couldn't expect to pay for college on scholarship money alone, the fact that most businesses aren't hiring right now has been a huge disappointment. And notably, our graduation has been reduced to a shred of what we all hoped it would be. I, for one, was looking enormously forward to enjoying all of the traditional fanfare in close proximity, giving my speech directly to the friends, family, scholarship providers, and teachers who have been supporting me all these years, getting to give a proper goodbye to them all, thanking them for the insight and encouragement they've offered me during times both great and not so great. For many of us, being here today with our diplomas in hand is the single greatest achievement of our lives. And for many of us, not being able to share that experience firsthand with the people who have supported us and helped us grow is the single greatest disappointment of our lives. And yet, we power through. This resilience is something I've observed in all of you. It's something I've seen both now as a global health crisis threatens our way of life and in the past when we were first introduced to smart boards, or when Ames testing was replaced with AZ Merit, or when the entire school was relocated to the Rothery Center because of a bomb threat. Although I've got to take credit there for having it worse than most of you. I was literally the third last person in the school to get picked up. But I digress. You have all adjusted quickly and graciously to all the dumb inconveniences that have been thrown your way, as I'm sure you will continue to do in the future. And that speaks volumes to your maturity. Class of 2020, you are truly inspiring. To me, to the teachers and staff who love you and can't wait to bore their future students with stories about your success, and to the countless others who are with us today and feel honored to have been a part of your journey. To bring this last of many school years we have spent together to a triumphant close and to celebrate the initiation of the rest of our lives, I leave you with these parting words. Afida Zayn, don't add to the population and don't take away from it. Have fun storming the castle. I won't miss any of you and happy graduation to you all. At this point, I would like to introduce our student body vice president, Giovanni Bourbon. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Giovanni Bourbon, and I am your student body vice president. I'm honored to be given the opportunity to speak to you one more time as a class of 2020. First of all, I would like to congratulate all the students, including myself, for finally graduating. I would also like to thank my family, friends, coaches, and the awesome staff at Buena High School. This was a long journey for most of us and we are finally here. I truly believe the class of 2020 is special and this is why. As we entered the world together in the midst of 9-11, history was in the making. And now as we enter the next chapter of our lives, history is in the making again. We are being faced with new challenges now as we graduate high school and begin our lives that will define us forever. Life is not all sunshine and rainbows, so as we face difficult times now, always try to remember everything does happen for a reason. So how we choose to make decisions in our lives will help shape how we see ourselves or how, how others perceive us. I challenge us all to choose to see the good, stay true to yourself, and live life with integrity. Never take anything for granted and live life with a purpose. Again, congratulations to the class of 2020 and best of luck in your future endeavors. Now I'm pleased to introduce your class president, Patricia Garcia. Thank you, Gio. Good evening to everyone that's at home, sitting at their computers and TVs. My name is Patricia Garcia, and I'm the senior class president for the class of 2020. Class of 2020, if I could give you one gift, I would give you the gift of a camera. We look back at old photographs from freshman year and we cringe hard. We walked into Buena thinking we were so cool because we were high schoolers now. We thought we experienced our last heartbreak in middle school because in high school, the relationships last forever. Most of all, we were nervous, but excited for what was to come. We might hate those photos of us before the braces, the haircuts, the overall glow up, but we don't delete the photos because they're reminders of where we began. We don't appreciate our present moments until they become memories. We had our last day of high school without realizing it. We walked the halls of Buena as a student for the final time. For a lot of us, the only real graduation ceremony we'll have are our kindergarten ones. And because we didn't know how precious those fleeting moments were, we took them for granted. Our lives are movies. We are the main characters. 
We know who we want in our movie, how we want the plot to play out, and what kind of character we want to be. But life didn't give our scripts to anybody else. People don't know what part they're supposed to play. Everybody screws up their lines and goes off script, and suddenly your movie title changes. So when we get rejected, when we fail, when things don't go according to our plans, our movie is put on pause. We have to learn to let go of our made-up script and trust the process. None of us really know what life is like outside of the walls of Buena High School, but we just hope that we're ready for that life. Class of 2020, I hope many things for all of you. I hope you have the confidence to be the first person to do things, but not the last. I hope one day you grow impatient of living a life that is any less than what you deserve. I hope you surrender yourself to the things that bring you joy and have the courage to walk away from the things that don't. I hope you love yourself enough to let go of everyone else's expectations. I hope that you overcome the things that make you feel small because we all have them. Most of all, I hope you experience the things that make you feel invincible, that make you feel infinite, that make you feel like you're on top of the world. To our teachers who believed in us and translated the potential they saw into success, thank you for everything you do. Mr. Nitschke, Mr. Engold, Coach Cole, and Coach Miller, thank you for taking a chance on a student like me and for helping me understand what it means to be a part of something so much bigger than yourself. To my parents, thank you for being my number one supporters. Mom, thank you for all of the sacrifices, for being there unconditionally, and for driving me to all of those tournaments and trips, even if I messed up the dates. To my dad, thank you for trying your best, even if you aren't physically here, and for always letting me know you're proud of me. And everyone else out there who has supported our seniors and done everything they can to make us feel special during this time, thank you so, so much. Seniors, whether you're going off to college, to the military, or you still haven't figured it out yet, be proud of yourself. Be proud for making it this far because a lot of us didn't think we'd be here. Be proud of your accomplishments, not proud of how well they compare to others. Because despite these chords, class rankings, and high school social status, in this moment, we are all the same. We have all attained the same thing. One day soon, we're going to forget what it's like to be 16, 17, and 18. And our pictures will become old photographs. And a lot of us are going to become somebody's mom or dad. And those moments when we're with the people we love the most in this world, singing at the top of our lungs while driving around Sierra Vista, will become distant memories. But right now, our moments are not stories or pictures in a scrapbook. They're happening right now. We are here in this moment, finally done with high school, different from the people we were when we started. And we will look back at those old photographs and be grateful we didn't take our present moments for granted. Because one day, our lives will flash before our eyes, and it's up to us to make it worth watching. Class of 2020, if I could give you one gift, I would give you the gift of a camera. Please join me in welcoming your senior class vice president, Lauren Lane. Hi class of 2020, my name is Lauren Lane and I'm your senior class vice president. I'm honored to be given the chance to speak to you today. I would like to start out by thanking our superintendent, Ms. Glass, our principal, Ms. Hale, all the board members, teachers, coaches, family, and friends. All of you have played a huge role in my four years at Buena High School and have helped me become the person I am today. Who would have thought a pandemic would be the reasons our dreams are cut short? I believe COVID-19 is giving us a chance to dream bigger and overcome these frustrating times. The class of 2020 has had to adapt in many ways that will likely make us mentally stronger and more resilient than any other class before us. One thing that we all have to remember is this is happening to seniors all around the world, not just here in Sierra Vista. We should all be grateful for the graduation we are getting, even if it's not a traditional graduation. I'd like to personally thank our principal and administration for making this event special for all of us. Plus, what other graduating class will be able to say they had a drive-through graduation? Class of 2020, whether you're going into the workforce, college, or joining the military, I wish you the best of luck. Always remember to live simple, be grateful, and take risks. I'd like to end with a quote from my favorite teacher, Papa Nitschke. 
Have fun storming the castle. Thank you. At this time, we'd like to recognize our top 5% of students in the class of 2020. Haley Adams, Jasmine Bangle, Sarah Beatty, Olivia Bertuka, Eric B, Sarah Brown, Jada Castro, Hui Dang, Christian Dickinson, Rachel Floor, Carly Gore, Linnea Greer, Morgan Hammond, Nathan Hawes, McKenna Heck, Amelia Hickey, Karsten Huber, Holly James, Hassan Khan, Veronica Kyles, Van Lee, Lynn Lee, Veronica Medina, Tiffany Mueller, Nevea Nelson, Olivia Sachi, Jonathan Sagona, Caitlin Sweeney, Luke Thrasher, Sadie Wadman. This honor is earned with hard work and dedication. Congratulations on your academic achievement throughout your high school career. We honor your commitment to academic excellence. Hi everyone, I'm Renee Romo, a four-year member of Student Council. In January, Buena High School was honored to host the 2020 Arizona Association of Student Council State Convention. This event brought over 2,000 people from all over Arizona to our community. I learned major life lessons as the co-head of convention that I'll take with me as I head out into this world. A friend of mine from convention had a motto. He'd always say, keep moving forward. And I'd say it's pretty relatable with everything that is happening nowadays. No matter what comes our way, whether it be rejection, disappointment, or loss, we must always remember to keep moving forward because there are simply brighter days ahead. The state convention that Buena hosted was the biggest state convention to ever be held. And while I know this event didn't have as much of an impact on you as it did me, I realized something crucial that I feel we all need to remember now more than ever. There are thousands upon thousands of students in the exact same position as us. We are not the only ones who lost such a monumental step in our lives. We can use this as something that will bond us with one another throughout life. I was told during state convention to remember to trust the process and that's exactly what we need to do right now. We're all going to go our own ways and start the next chapter of our lives and years from now, I hope that we can all look back on this and not feel the loss that we do right now. I wish you all luck and that you enjoy all that life has to offer. Just make sure to trust the process and keep moving forward. At this time, we would like to take a moment to recognize our Buena High School foreign exchange students that are not able to be with us tonight. Hoi Vu, Margarita Gadadi, Theo De Bruel, Vittorio Buono, Marco Marsicola, Sojun O, oh, Tabea Carter. While they are not physically here with us, they will always be Buena Colts. Please join me in welcoming Buena High School Principal Kristen Hale. Good evening. Tonight we are gathered to celebrate this group of seniors that are about to embark on a new journey in a time of uncertainty. I have confidence that you will overcome all of the challenges that you face. The class of 2020 are no strangers to adversity. You came into this world during a time of chaos and chaos is now ushering you out of high school and pushing you into adulthood. You are used to uncertainty and you know how to handle unpredictable times. Maya Angelou once said, you may encounter many defeats, but you must not be defeated. In fact, it may be necessary to encounter the defeats so you can know who you are what you can rise from, how you can still come out of it. There is undeniable wisdom in her words. Given the circumstances and the reality that we face today, this could never ring more true. Life is not an endless series of pleasant experiences. We all learn from adversity. We learn about our character, our resolve, and it drives us forward. Your Buena High School administrative team, teachers, and the staff couldn't be more proud of the endurance and tenacity that you have demonstrated through the challenges you faced this year alone. While this was not the ending that you expected for this senior year, it was yours and yours alone. Unique among your peers, and you will reap the rewards. No other class will have your story. Use this experience and your life experiences to guide you as you continue to pursue your dreams. Stay flexible, stay patient, and be ready for your next chapter. Tonight, 
474 students have earned the right to call themselves graduates of Buena High School. Some of you are graduating early, some of you have done it with a higher GPA than another, and some of you have overcome insurmountable odds just to be here tonight with your peers. You are all here as a result of the dedication and hard work, and we are all celebrating with you this day. 54 of our graduates have the honor of graduating with a weighted GPA of 4.0 or higher. Our graduates are going to the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Coast Guard, Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University, Cal Poly, George Mason University, ASU, U of A, NAU, GCU, and many, many more. Local students who are attending Cochise College were able to take advantage of over $500,000 in scholarships offered to Buena alone. Courses of study that our graduates will pursue include neuroscience, business, biblical studies, education, nursing, public administration, cosmetology, and welding, just to name a few. You are going to learn and grow in all fields of study. We are proud of each and every one of you for your accomplishments and amazing futures that you are pursuing. I have no doubt that you will have a significant impact on our community, our country, and our world. So with this new day, I encourage you to try new things. Keep learning from your mistakes as they will lead to your greatest accomplishments. Take risks to do something big. Go to college or trade school. Start a company. Be a participant, not a spectator. Coach a youth athletic team. Tutor, mentor, donate, volunteer. Do something instead of waiting for it to be done and be kind. Don't follow the path ahead of you. Instead, choose to blaze your own trail. We have watched you grow into amazing young adults. And on behalf of the staff at Buena High School, we want you to know how proud we are of all of you. Ms. Glass, I hereby certify that the Buena High School Class of 2020 has satisfied the requirements for high school graduation as set forth by the Arizona Department of Education and the Sierra Vista Unified School District Governing Board, and I present them to you. Mrs. Hale, thank you for the presentation and certification of Buena High School's Class of 2020. With great joy, I invite the seniors to please come forward and receive your diplomas from the Sierra Vista Unified School District's Governing Board. Caleb Avila. Dominic Abreu. William Acosta. Axel.
Gina Ballesteros the third. Jasmine Bengal. Kaylin Barlow-Long. Jaden Barrett. Devin Barone. Haley K. Bartles. Deja Basilla render Andrew Bean. Alejandra Carnegie. Gabriella Carnegie. Nicholas Carnegie. Gina Carnegie. Devian Carrasco. Adriana. Stefania Chavez, Alisa Choi, Elena Clarno, Brianna Collier, Scarlett Collier, Daniel Cook Jr. Yeah.
Celia Cruz. Paola Felix Cremant. Alicia 
Walker. <laughs> Amelia Hughes. Omari Hughes. Amber Hunt. Yasmin Ignacio. Daryl Jackson. Johnson the third. Aurora Jones. Brooke Jones. Matthew Jacino. Jacob Kale. Kenneth Case. David and Anthony Keene. Kaleo Kelly. Travis Kemry. Hassan Khan. Heather Van Perk.
Keller. Amber Elizabeth McKinney. Veronica Medina. Diego Mejias. Elizabeth Mendoza. Gilberto Mercado the third. Ryan Perkins. Selena Meski. McGuire Mascus. William Meyer. Abby Miller. Antonio J. Gonzalez Miller. Ali Miller. Esperanza Mingus Rodriguez. Naraya Miranda. Kirsten Mitchell. Claudia Alia Molinari.
Summer Rose.
Class of 2020, I want you all to go grab your cap and put it on one last time. As Troy Bolton says, we're all in this together, and although we might not all be physically together, we are all graduating, and it is my privilege as student body president to announce that we are all officially graduates of Buena High School. Go ahead and flip that tassel. Congratulations, Class of 2020. We did it.